So, Father God, we just thank you today, and we praise you, and we lift up the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Y'all are, are beautiful today. You're handsome today. We appreciate you. Uh, we come out here to fellowship. We figured we'd come out here and fellowship, just two of us, and then it wound up being three, and then four or five, and then sometimes folks will come out here and feed people a hot meal they hadn't in the last couple of months, but that's okay. They'll come back. They'll come back. They might change their schedule. We don't know. But we're here. We've been here for nine months. Every single Sunday for nine months. We said, Lord, let our cup run over. And Father God, thank you for our cup running over. Thank you for provision. Because there is provision within this vision and there shall be no division. Father God, we ask you to have your way today. You've already touched us, Lord. You've already been here ahead of us, Father God. And we thank you for that. Father God, if there's any buttons in us, that the enemy can touch and trigger. Father God, remove the button. Yes. Father God, we just ask you to just remove the button. They can't even touch the button or flip the switch, Father God. We give you glory. We give you praise and honor. Sisters, saints, sinners, sons, saved, sanctified, all with a testimony. Yes. Doesn't matter what category that you're in today. Saint, sinner, son, sister, servant. Any of those. You have a testimony, saints. Yes. You have a testimony, sinners. You have a testimony, sons. You have a testimony, servants. You have a testimony, sister. Son, sister, saint. Come on, y'all get it. SWAT. SWAT. We're a part of the SWAT team, brother. We're all part of that SWAT team because we got a life. And if we're alive... We're more than likely doing things our own way, aren't we? Yes. Does anybody understand what I'm saying today when, when we're doing it our own way? Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5, 6, and 7 says, Lean not to thine own understanding, and all thy ways acknowledge the Lord, and he will direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So on yesterday, we had a brother come by, and he, he gave us good advice. He said, it's always better to listen more than you talk. Well, you got a point there. It's always better to listen because you got two, two ears. Because when you talk, you got one mouth. I got two ears to listen, one mouth to talk. So if I listen with two ears, I'm going to be doubly blessed to speak out of my mouth. Or I'm going to be doubly cursed to speak out of my mouth. So it depends on what you let in the ear as to what's going to come out of the mouth. Because out of the mouth, the abundance of the heart speaks. The Lord said to come today and tell you that your cup runs over with something. Your cup runs over with something. This cup today represents my cup. It can represent your cup today. You all have a cup size. You're a four-ouncer, maybe a, a keg, I don't know. Maybe you're a barrel. I don't know. We all know what that means, don't we? Let's go down and get a 40. Does that, does that mean getting some malt liquor or something? A keg? What? A keg? See, I ain't never been much on drinking, so I don't know all that lingo, but I know one thing. If most folks don't even have a cup, they just drink it straight out the bottle. Am I right? Amen. Come on now. But he said your cup runs over. What is your cup running over with today? All right, my cup. I said, Lord, look at there. Look at all that pretty stuff. Look at there, Lord. Look at all that, that pretty confetti. I said, okay, Lord, what else is in there? Okay, I got, I got a flower. So I can put that on the side of my head right there and decorate my head. I can decorate myself, can I? I can, I can make it look better. Some folk, it don't matter what you do, it ain't going to look no better, but I tell you what, the inside can change. So I can put a flower on this side too, can I? My cup is overflowing so far. Y'all see that, right? All right, y'all get your cups out. All right, what you do is you have to, to be like a child with childlike faith. Grab your cup. Everybody grab your cup. Come on, you got a cup. Grab it. Say, Lord, here's my cup. Fill it up. Let me see what else am I going to find in my cup. Wow. Look at that beautiful 
little jewel that's pink. Isn't that pretty? See, I, I got some on my head. See? One, two, three, four. There's four cups of communion. Lord, let my jewels line up with my cup. Let my cup run over today. Look at there. There's a clear one. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm going to ask y'all something real, si real simple. If this was a real diamond, you think I'd be bringing it out here? If it was a real diamond, if you thought this was real, I can guarantee you, you'd be trying to come up here and get it. Am I right? Am I right? Come on now, let's be let's be smart here. I, I ain't I didn't wake up last night. I really didn't go to bed, but that's okay. I got some more. I got some more. My cup is running over, saints. It's running over. Look. Look, I found a teardrop. How many of you have cried a bunch of them? How many? Right here. All right, well, you're going to cry some more. Yeah. I came to tell you today, you're going to cry some more. Amen. Look around. Is your teardrop upside down today? Have you ever thought of that, saints? Sometimes maybe we need to start crying some upside down tears. Because if we get on the floor, if we get on the floor with our face on the floor and suck them tears back up, suck all that stuff back up, get up, get your girl, get big girl panties on, your big boy sh boxers today, get them on, get up off the floor, stop crying, stop letting all them tears flow and say, Lord, it's time, it's war. Yeah. It's time to fight. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you what, saints, you're either going to fight or die. Exactly. you either going to fight or die. But the fight I'm talking about is the fight of faith. Yeah. My cup's still running over, saints. My favorite color, green and emerald. I'm going to ask you something real simple, guys. If you thought this emerald was real, would you be coming to get it? What's in your cup today? What's in your cup? Is your cup empty? Well, if your cup is empty, it's your own fault because the Lord said, I'm the one that fills you up. He already touched you, Joanne. He already filled you up today. Your cup ain't empty. Let it get in. Let it get in, sister. He touched you. You're overfilling. Come on. Come on right there, sister. That's what I'm talking about. He filled you up this morning when he woke you up and he let your heart keep beating. He let you keep breathing. He let you keep thinking. He said, I filled you up. You just heard it in Job. How come it is? How come, saints? In Job chapter 33, God speaks once. He does not speak a second time. I'm coming to tell you as God's representative, he's speaking to you today yes. through me. You ain't listening to me. You're listening to the words of spirit. John 6, 63. The flesh profits little. It is the spirit that brings you to life. It is the spirit of the most high God that quickens you and brings you to life. The words that I speak they are spirit and they are life. Yes. Yes. He said, go tell my people that are called by my name. If they will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their own wicked ways, I will hear them from heaven and I will heal their land. God speaks once. He does not speak a second time. He's not going to continuously come to you and tell you over and over and over again and you continuously lean into your own understanding you said my cup is empty whose fault is that it ain't your mamas it ain't your daddies it ain't your pastor your wife your boyfriend your living lover it ain't your dog's fault it's your fault he said i am the cup filler i'm the cup filler upper saints you got a cup hold it out Here's my cup. See, I don't see nobody really grabbing onto that saying, here's my cup, Lord. 
is your cup overflowing with? I make sure to keep a mirror in my cup. I make sure to keep a mirror in my cup, saints. If you look in this mirror, what are you going to see looking back at you? Are you going to see me? It's my mirror. It's my mirror. Are you going to see me? Are you going to see Jesus? When you look in this mirror, what are you going to see? You're a cup made in God's image. You are a cup. You are made in God's image. And he fills you with life and breath every day, saints. There's jewels. Yes. And it's in the scripture. There are flowers in the scripture. There are emeralds. There are diamonds. There's a mirror in the scripture. Wake up! Know that you are alive today. There are tiny jewels that if you will hunt for those tiny jewels, they'll cause your cup to overflow with blessings. You are the cup. Psalm chapter 23, verse 5. So the man asked, my cup runneth over. Where is that scripture? Well, you want to put somebody on the spot. It's in my heart. My cup runneth over is in my heart. The scripture is in me. The scripture is my heart. It flows out of me. But if you want to put me on the spot, why don't you tell me where my cup runneth over is in the Bible? Tell me where it is. It's Psalm 23, verse 5. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. Y'all should know this one. But I'm going to quote it out of the word of God. You can go along with me if you want to. You don't have to. It's your pie hole. Put anything in your pie hole you want to put in your pie hole. If you don't want to put pie in it, you can put nasty stuff in that pie hole. You're going to get nasty stuff back out. And I ain't talking about the food you eat and the stuff you drink. I'm talking about whatever you put in that heart. It's going to come out the pie hole. It's going to come out the other end later. But spiritually speaking, saints, break it down. Make it plain on the table. Whatever goes into a man, that's not what defiles him. It's what comes out of the man. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you've got ugly in you, ugly's coming out of you. If you don't like folk, it's going to come out in your attitude. If you don't like people, it's going to come out in the way you treat folk, the way you look at folk, the way you smile at them, the way you frown at them, the way you want to kick them when they're down. When you say, get away from me, I don't want you around. Come on, saints. Whatever's in your heart is going to come out that pie hole eventually. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We all want something today, don't we? Our flesh wants something. Our mind wants something. Our will and our emotions want something. But the word I read says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. What does that mean? Break it down, lady. It means I'm not going to lack nothing. It means I'm not going to lack anything. Well, look around, lady. You got some homeless out here. Well, I'm looking around. You alive? Yes. Your heart beating? Yes. Wow. You still got life? You still got breath? You still got the ability, don't you? You're still alive. Your cup is running over. You're alive. Yes. He makes me to rest in green pastures. He makes me to rest in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. That's called peace. I don't care if you're homeless. I don't care if you live in the pit or the palace or anywhere in between, saints. The pit or the palace or anywhere in between. He said, he will restore my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I don't care where you're walking. You can come back to the Lord 
Lord. You can walk with the Lord. You can talk with the Lord. And he will send his holy angels. Well, you don't understand. My belly's empty. I understand when your belly's empty. I know how to go without. I might not look like it, but I know how to fast. And it's voluntary. I know for some folks it ain't voluntary. But I want to tell you something today. I want to meet your needs, but I can only do what I can do. But my Father in heaven... He's the one that can meet everybody's needs so that none of us are without. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no, no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they come for me. This guy right over here, he walked over here, he's got a rod in his hand. He's got a staff. That ain't just a walking stick, saints. That ain't just a walking stick. Your cup 
is empty or filled with ever with whatever you desire it be filled or emptied of yes. i encourage you today to have your cup filled with grace yes. with mercy with holiness because the word of god in psalm 23 that last little bit right there surely go along with me saints you got breath you got a mouth you know how to open it you put pie in it we can put cookies in it we can put alcohol in it we can smoke surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever 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 and ever and ever it's up to you what you put in your cup saints yes. as for me and my house we will serve the Lord the Lord protected my husband the enemy tried to kill him the devil's a damn liar you don't touch what belongs to the Lord you don't touch mine anointed you don't do my prophets no harm you don't touch what belongs to the lord Amen. he will deal with you he will chastise you and he will love you through the whole entire ordeal saints but wake up Amen. wake up we're all dying to get to heaven but nobody wants to die to get there. The devil is a damn liar. Facebook, YouTube, news. And I'm going to tell you, if you're sitting here and you're breathing, I've been labeled extremely, wow, conservative. By Facebook. Cons extremely conservative. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not trying to hide. Let them come get me. I'll preach to them. Right. Let them come get me. I'll pray for them. Let them come get me. I'll love them through it. Saints, your head will lead you the wrong way. But if you get in your head and then it gets to your heart and you take those jewels, yes. that purity that covers you, that white, that represents purity, that represents holiness. Holiness. Without such, no man, no woman shall see the Lord. I love you, saints. I appreciate you. To God be the glory Amen. for the Amen. things that he has done. My prayer for you today is that you get you a cup, you'll get you a big cup, and you just say, Lord, I want to look at that cup and I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, don't be drunk with wine, but be ye filled with the Holy Spirit. Saints, you are the cup. He is the one that fills you up because you get in the word of God. The preacher can't fill you up. The deacon can't fill you up. The denomination cannot fill you up. The only way you're going to get filled is when you submit, commit to the Lord God Almighty, and you omit all of the rest of the junk and the drama. Omit the junk and the drama. Commit and submit to the word of God. I promise you the promise is in there. Yes. Go dig for it. Yes. It's called jewels. And then your cup. Hopefully you'll have a mirror in your cup. And you'll examine yourself daily. I love you. God bless you. Everything works out for God's grace and glory and majesty. And everything. Everything that he made is beautiful yes. everything that he made has a purpose yes. every human being has a plan and a purpose before he sends you here he said yes. I knew you before I formed you in the womb Amen. before I ever sent you before the foundation
foundations of this world, I knew you, and you are a jewel, my child, in my crown, says the Lord. Yes. And he says to tell you something today. Let your cup run over with blessings because you bless people, and your cup runs over with blessings, you will be blessed. You don't yes. give to other people to get in return. You give, and you say, I don't want anything back, Lord. I just want to praise you. I just want to thank you. I just want to glorify the name of Jesus. I love you. God bless you. I pray that your cup runs over with abundance. I love, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you all day long. Lord, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you all day long. I love you in the morning. I love you at the noonday. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you. God bless you. A sister with a testimony, with the saints of a testimony. Saints? Anybody in the house? I bless you. I love you. And I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.